Hello YouTube, this is Mal, straight from his desktop from Sablecraft videos, and I wanted to do a quick video talking about um, Minecraft 1.7, which is supposedly either the pre-release is coming out on Friday, or it's actually coming out on Friday. Now, it's October 24th today, and... I'm on the main Mojang page, and Dinnerbone posted two days ago saying, here's a list of cool things that may be coming your way on Friday if the pre-release goes well. Um, I'm assuming that means that 1.7 will be released on Friday. Now, please correct me on that if I'm wrong. Regardless, uh, let's go over some of the new content that will be released on Friday. Friday or whenever 1.7 comes out. Now there are there are double the amount of biomes as it says here. Um, I'm gonna go on a full change log list and pretty much not read them off, but um, you know talk about them a little bit. If the page comes up, I don't generally cut videos when a, something goes wrong, but, uh, yeah, this is what, one point, okay, this is 1.7, and yes, it is dubbed the update that changed the world, uh, let's go through this here, mm -hmm. hmm, sound packs, you can now add your own sounds for various actions, instead of modifying already, so, that's kind of good, because now for our own, uh, for, um, sound packs that are being released which go with resource packs um, uh, what's it called you can now add new sounds to the game which will be cool because there'll be a lot more than just what is originally put into the game that just got altered so there'll be more sound effects potentially that will be on the game at once also um, it says here a service can now offer resource packs again I'm guessing that they couldn't I'd never have tried that with Sablecraft but uh, supposedly, you couldn't use them for a while, and now you can offer them to players again in this release. So that's another thing. Lighting. Let's see what we got here for lighting. Several lighting issues found. A lot fewer black spots in the terrain generator. Thank God. I'm sick of those black spots. Torch bugs are also fixed. Yes. Um, the torch bug that I've noticed is mostly that... Um, First of all, they won't be destroyed by water, uh, and second, the torches that were already spawned in there, unless you place a torch down or break a block or something, it'll be pitch black even though you can see the torch. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. We also have new video options. Max frame rate now is a slider ranging from 10 to 250 FPS, then unlimited. Um, that's really not too much. I don't understand why you wouldn't want to have... I don't understand why you'd ever want to limit your frame rate, to be honest. I really don't. But if anybody can explain why, um, then tell me. Another thing, render distance can now be ranged from 2 to 16 chunks, so now it's not... Uh, now things are a little bit different and short also has short render distance also has the sky now visible um, these settings right here are pretty much something you can pick up except FSAA which is nice um, you could pick up in Optifine so shaders are coming into the game soon they're really being worked on I guess change the menu new super secret settings in game changes between shaders okay the volume of in-game music jukebox Notebox, music, hostile mobs, passive mobs, and the master bombs can all be modified separately. Yes! Now I can finally have something I've always wanted to do. The biggest thing is to be able to play the jukebox music while still having game music and game sound effects muted. So that's really cool if they're doing that. Server list can now be refreshed using F5. Remove support for comments going off screen. Well, that sucks. Added support for multi line comments. It's going to be a nice thing for mine. And a server icon for our server. Um, so that's going to be a couple things I'll be using on the new once uh, once it comes out for Sablecraft. Uh, also, 
couple useless summon entities. Well, you don't really need it. These are all useless because you can just pick these up with um, essentials. There are new particle effects. Okay, no one cares about the achievements. I'm sorry if you do. There are some more statistics. Well, mine never track anyway. Fishing. Changes to fishing mechanics. Items other than fish can be attained by fishing. Well, that's great. Finally, something. Something useful. Scoreboard. No. Give. You can now give to players with custom names, lores. That's the only thing that's going to be interesting, is now I can finally give items. Um, sorry. I can now give items to people uh, with different names without having to get a custom plugin for that, so that's going to be nice. Um, let's see. Chat system. Added a way to do things when clicking things in chat, like executing a command. Okay, more things you can do for chat now. A command execution. So I'm assuming I can actually like link a command through a broadcast or something. That would be cool. Like click here to go to the spawn. That'd be nice. That'd be really cool. Death screen. If you die and select the title screen and prompt ask if you're sure you want to quit. Yes, because I've had times where I've played the damn thing and end up getting ejected to the, the main menu for no reason. So that's really nice that they're fixing that. Um, edge of the world. All blocks beyond 30 million from origin now act as solid blocks. An invisible wall at the boundary. Yes. So now it doesn't have some ridiculous looking weird wall, like physical wall that you can't cross. So now they have make it look like an infinite world up to 30 million blocks. It's nice. The sky now darkens when inside, whatever that means. I'm assuming that means when you get up to the sky block, I don't know. Biomes. Oh, yes. Here's what a lot of people wanted to see. All the new biomes. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten new biomes. Now, if you ever play mods, then this might not seem like a really big deal because they're pretty much adding mods that... They're pretty much adding uh, those extra biome mods into the game. Anyway, the Mesa biome consists of red sand instead of sand. It's like a desert, but has red sand instead of sand, So, which that's really cool. If you ever played Half-Life, um, you'll notice that the Black Mesa region outside is all red rocks because that's what a mesa is and if you watch my videos you can see that in one of them a few of them maybe um, half-life has those in them anyway um, there's no rain in the mesa so that's nice I figured there'd be no rain in there Savannah okay horses can spawn in this biome there's no rain very flat with plateaus and the occasional giant mountain Sunflower Plains. Exactly as plains, but can spawn sunflowers. Okay, I guess that's cool. Roofed Forest. Monsters will most likely be able to spawn during the day and night. Now that's something new. Monsters that spawn at night can survive during the day. Naturally spawns with giant mushrooms. There's new wood, sapling, and leaf types. Has dark grass and giant mushrooms. So has dark oak trees, dark and dangerous under the canopy even during the day. So that's going to be a really cool place to pick up monsters at, and it's definitely going to add another atmosphere to the game. Birch forest, that's self-explanatory. Flower forest, very densely packed with new f flowers. Okay, so that means there's going to be a lot more flowers I can actually use in my game now, instead of just uh, the yellow one and the red one. The red one's the rose, and the yellow one's the dandelion? I don't know. Anyway, the taiga now generates without snow. The previous taiga biomes are now cold taiga biomes. Okay, I understand. So, cold taiga biomes have snow, whereas these new ones do not. Mega taiga. This is a very rare biome. It has a dirt block known as podzol. Podzol. Currently obtained only by silk touch. I'm curious. Podzol. That's what it's going to look like on the right there. Similar to mycelium. That's really cool. I'm kind of excited for that one. Um, contains dirt blocks that do not allow grass to grow. Moss stone boulders are scattered around this biome. Dead bushes and ferns. Extreme Hills Plus. Something they fucking needed, to be honest. Sorry, excuse my language. But uh, it goes higher than the normal Extreme Hills, as it says. Which is really going to be nice, because now you get some real Extreme Hills. Those aren't really that extreme, in my opinion. This might take a while to climb. 
Ice Plains contains giant ice spires similar to upside down icicles made of packed ice. These ice spikes can reach up to 120 of the normal from the normal ground. Uh, that's gonna be cool. Ice spike thing. Deep ocean. Maximum depth is in the low 30s, which is 10 blocks deeper than the normal ocean, which is really nice. Uh, let's not go into the technicalities, but finally they have a deep ocean, so. That's just kind of exciting. Hmm. And they have improvements to all the other biomes, which is something that's nice. Hmm. What's next? Do, 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 do. Okay, a bunch of new items that, you know, we don't really want to spend the time getting into, but they've improved. Pretty much, they're improving a lot of... Oh, and the swamp pots for witches now are actually useful. There's a ton of bug fixes. Um, 1.7 is going to be a big patch. There is a lot in it. Um, I guess they improve multiplayer as well. I don't know how, but... Uh, it was claimed that it improves multiplayer. So it's going to improve everything in the game. And if you're a fan of biomes and all sorts of extra content, then this is definitely going to be something you like. If you're an old-time Minecraft player, you might not like it as much because it kind of jeopardize, starts to jeopardize the old game because there's so many more biomes in it and other things to do now. Um, I think it's an acceptable change because they're adding... Uh, useful biomes that aren't just crap um, like the deep ocean I think is really nice it's something we needed um, you know but definitely I guess just dive into it you know they're gonna be adding more content a lot they can't really stop it at this point and if you're an old Minecraft player that was faithful to beta like I was and you might not like it as much um, personally I don't think I mean, they have a lot more stuff than Minecraft had. I understand, like, I like all the blocks and all that. Um, there's something about Minecraft that's a little bit different to me, and I don't really, can't really pinpoint it. Uh, single player experience, to me, is getting worse, I think. I think the multiplayer experience, on the other hand, is getting better. So, I guess it works both ways. In my server, I'm, I'm excited because I'm going to be, um, I'm going to be, making a new world in 1.7 with all these new biomes around the area so I'm kind of excited for that um, but yeah so 1.7 will be out hopefully Friday I'm gonna be creating that new world as soon as it comes out I don't really know for sure when it comes out but you know that's my guess um, thank you for watching this was a Sablecraft video and I'll be doing more